Schön, dass... Okay, guys. Schön, dass ihr alle das seid. Heute haben wir die ersten Autos und unsere Kunden ausgeliefert. Wir sind Was für ein Melanstein. Vor circa zwei Jahren haben die Bauarbeiten angefangen. Jetzt stehen wir vor der fertigen Fabrik und wir produzieren. Danke für all alle, <lacht> eure harte Arbeit, die das hier möglich gemacht hat. So, yes, so, th exactly, so, thank you for all your hard work which has led to this great day, um, and uh, it was amazing to see how excited the customers were to receive the, the cars, uh, it, I mean, it was just super good vibes, um, and um, I think it bodes, it bodes very well for the future of Giga Berlin Brandenburg, um, and, uh, you know, I think it's worth remembering that every car that we make is a step in the, in the direction of a sustainable future. Yeah. You know, the, the thing about this, this factory and, and the, the cars that we make is that it gives people hope about the future, you know? And it's like, it's very important to, to have reasons to be excited about the future. Um, because often people are depressed or sad about the future because they think it won't be good. But what we're, help, what we're doing here is with every car we make, with every battery we make, we're making the future better. Yeah. So, it, 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 you know, what, what you're doing really matters. It makes a difference. Um, and uh, I'm, I'm sort of working on the master plan part three. And, and it's a huge, <laughs> yeah, it's, it's gonna be good. Um, uh, but a huge part of, of that is scaling to high volume. So in order for us to really affect the world in a positive way, uh, because we get a lot of press, we get a lot of attention, but if you say how many vehicles have we made as a percentage of total vehicles in the world, because there's two billion vehicles in the world, well, so far we've actually, are well below 1%, we're not even half a percent. So it's essential for us to really uh, affect the future in a positive way. We have to make a lot of cars. That's the only way. So, uh, and this was what, I, we had, that's why we call it a gigafactory, you know. It's very big. <laughs> um, and we're, you know, we're starting off with the Model Y, but we're gonna do a number of exciting uh, additional vehicles here. And uh, so I think this overall is just going to be a center of, of excellence for sustainable energy in general, and it's really going to help the world. So, uh, and, and uh, I look forward to doing it with, with you. Um, and uh, yeah, once again, thanks for everything. You know. So yeah, if you guys have some questions or something, you know. Yes. Well. A great thanks to the Supercharger team for enabling long distance travel. Uh, it's very impressive work that the Supercharger team has done. So I'd like to give them a hand as well. Um, but yeah, the, the, you know, it's, in addition to the work that we do here, uh, we, also ins we also inspire and encourage the, the rest of the industry uh, to go towards electrification. And I think it's fair to say that without Tesla, without the work that, that the Tesla team has done, uh, that the, the rest of the industry would not be moving so quickly towards electrification. So, uh, and, and that's also why we, we, we open sourced our patents. You know, we made our patents freely available to the other car makers, because it was the right thing to do. No other company has done that, as far as I know. Um, and it's just, you know, we, we really, at Tesla, we really try to do the right thing. You know, and you know, we want to be a company that you can believe in, in your heart and soul. And in order to do that, we must be the company that does the right thing. So. I love you guys too. <laughs> um, we, we definitely want to go to the world. Uh, the uh, challenge we have right now, it's a, good, it's a high class problem, but the, the orders we have are well in excess of our production. So sometimes people will say, why aren't you in, in all these other markets? And uh, why don't you make all these other different versions of the product, like different cars, like where's the Tesla semi-truck and the Cybertruck and the, you know, 
roaster and other things. Um, but the, the, the challenge we have, it's a good, good challenge, is that our orders far exceed our production. So, uh, <laughs> which is, you know, a high class problem. Uh, but, uh, but we need to have our production get to the point where it exceeds our current orders. Uh, and then, then it makes sense to expand to additional markets and to uh, have additional products. Um, because if, if we add complexity, but we don't add volume, and we don't add production volume, then we've not actually done anything more. With our, our, because the good is a function of how many vehicles we're able to make. So as we are able to ramp up production and satisfy demand in our existing markets, then we will expand to other markets, and we will also add additional products. So, uh, and, and I think, you know, last year there were a lot of supply chain challenges with chips. Everyone knows about the chip shortage. 